and she was supposed to come this evening, but um, with the volcanic ash and some health problems with her mother, she chose not to come at this time. Uh, but she may be coming later this summer, so if she is able to travel here, I'll let everyone know with a press release, and maybe we can do a small reception for her at that time. Um, and when she said she couldn't come, I thought, well, I'd like to have a program where um, the community could hear someone speak about the work. Uh, I know bases her work uh, on this poem from the Kalevala. And I thought, well, who can I talk to about the Kalevala and finish <laughs> art? And Joyce Kaskinwick came to mind, so uh, I went to her studio, visited her studio, and she graciously said that she'd speak a little bit about the work and the Kalevala. So, thank you,
large series of the, this is the, of Lake Olu, Olu Yarvi in central Finland, and um, the compiler of the Kalevala uh, lived in this area um, as he was compiling the poems. And the artist talked about how she felt uh, that some of the stories took place in this area. And uh, I don't think that it's traditionally uh, accepted that, that it was necessarily here geographically, but she feels that the connection, the waterway connection all through this area uh, is where the stories take place. So yeah, there's a lot of the stories around water. There's water the big, big thing in the ancient book. And Monrad, when he collected these stories, he's the one that put them together in an epic. <coughs> he's the one that created the structure for them. There are, there are all kinds of um, stories that are from different communities, but related. And they're really ancient. They, they weren't written down. They were sung. That the whole poem was sung. But two people who, who held hands like this and went back and forth, <laughs> they were singing like that. That's the tradition of how it was done. And it wasn't written down until you know, 17, late 1700s. But it's 2,000 years old. That's what people say, the whole, the whole, all the stories are at least 2,000 years old. And there are some people who think of the Kalevala as a holy book and find all kind of metaphorical meanings in it. Um, there's a controversy about that. But yeah, I'm, now I'm inspired to study some more about it. When I was preparing for this as well, I went on the internet and was looking at some of the Kalawala uh, information, and, and there was a, a person who was blogging. He said, um, you can't just read the Kalawala uh, all at once. Let's just take it a day at a time. Let's do, do it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, he'd read a portion one day at a time and then blog about it. So oh, that was kind of a neat, a neat way to approach it. Did Ina send you the, the photographs in, in these sets yes. to be hung in these, these particular settings? As in every Finnish artist I've ever worked with, they're incredibly professional and um, they have everything. She sent me a box um, with the, these works are on aluminum and these were all um, ordered with labels exactly where I was to put everything with a map, a diagram, a pair of uh, gloves to wear, <laughs> <laughs> and the particular sticky stuff to stick them on the wall with. So, <laughs> she's, uh, I, I always love working oh, with Finnish well, artists because did. they're they're incredible that way. And I, I did want to say that she is the first, and um, I've arranged for four different Finnish artists to come in the next two years, and she's our first. She was supposed to be here, but hopefully she'll make it. Uh, we have another one coming this fall who's a printmaker and photographer um, in next January during Hink and Paiva. Uh, we'll have a printmaker and he's, he's going to come and work with students. And then um, in the next summer we have a weaver who's coming to take part in the weavers conference that Finlandia is hosting. So we'll have a, a Finnish weaver in the gallery at the same time. So right. just look forward to a lot of Finnish uh, artists coming up in the next and I really want to thank you, Joyce, for, for sharing.